Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas with another problem of the week. And this week's problem is going to deal with the mass to mass calculation. So let's make sure that we have the things we need. You're going to need a calculator to do some plugging and chugging. You're going to need a periodic table. Uh, you might even need your polyatomic ion sheet if you have one. And you need to know some things. You need to be sure you know how to write chemical formulas. You need to be sure you can write a balanced chemical equation. And you need to understand the basis of stoichiometry. And of course there are videos for each of these situations. And you can go to my YouTube channel and check them out. Alright, the problem. Calculate the mass of potassium iodide required to yield 1.78 grams of mercury 2 iodide. Now this problem isn't complete. There's some things uh, that need to be examined here. So one of the first things we really should do with a problem like this is analyze it. And so the analysis is, is that I want to find out how much potassium iodide, or Ki, it's going to take to produce 1.78 grams of mercury 2 iodide, which is HGI2. Now when I look at a problem like this, I realize I need a balanced equation, but I don't have one. Um, so let's plan out what I want to do and then go get an equation. And what I want to do is I want to plan out the grams to moles of mercury iodide. And then I'll take the moles of mercury iodide and convert it to moles of potassium iodide and then to grams of potassium iodide. So I have a grams to moles to moles to grams. And in order to do that, I need to know molar masses, which you can see molar masses are already in the problem. But I also need to go from moles of mercury to iodide to moles of potassium iodide. And in order to do that, I have to have the mole ratio. And in order to get the mole ratio, I need a balanced equation. So what I'm going to do here is first of all, convert my mole, my grams to moles. Then let's find an equation. And I bet that if we look into, or if we look into some of our textbooks, we can find out how mercury 2 iodide is prepared and come up with an equation. So moles of mercury iodide. I'm going to take my grams and multiply it to the molar mass and cross up my units. That's just checking my analysis and my answer is going to be 0 0.002392 moles of mercury 2 iodide. But in order to change this to moles of potassium iodide, I need an equation. And I just so it just so happens that I found an equation in one of my textbooks. And the equation uh, is the preparation of mercury uh, iodide, mercury 2 iodide. And it's written right there on the blackboard for you. With that, I realized that my ratio is going to be 2 to 1. So let's go and change it to moles of potassium iodide. Now that I have the moles of potassium iodide, I can go ahead and multiply it by the mole ratio. Cross out my units. Always check your dimensional analysis. When you do your unit analysis, or what some people call dimensional analysis, you're going to uh, be sure that you set it up right. And that gives me moles of potassium iodide, and that's what I wanted. Plug and chug, and there's my value. Now my next step is just to take the moles of potassium iodide and change it to grams of potassium iodide. And we can do that pretty easy. Just multiply by the molar mass, cross out our units, and voila, we get our grams of potassium iodide. And we have about three sig figs because of our original numbers. All right, let's recap. We changed grams to moles, and that was with the mercury 2 iodide. Then we wrote a balanced equation, and I actually had to go and find it. Then we determined the mole ratio and changed moles to grams. We also did a moles to moles change in there too, didn't we? If you have any questions, be sure to send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. Check out mrkazi'sworld.com and look at the uh, PowerPoints and notes that are available to you. And of course, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to my YouTube channel.
Happy Angel.